gosh, I can't believe it's been so long since I've seen all of you. Oh my gosh, I had the best time at Disney. For those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, I hope you enjoyed all the pictures. There were quite a few of them. Yep, we did uh, four parks in a week. So there were a lot of pictures and just the best time. It was just my friend Dawn and uh, my new friend, which is a friend of hers, um, uh, uh, Judy. Anyways, <laughs> the three of us, we just had a great time. So anyways, uh, I am back doing Facebook Lives again. I'm so excited. Um, we only have, well, six days today. If you're watching this tomorrow, only five days left until 2023. Ah, I can't believe it. Hey, Linda. Hello. All right. So, um, getting ready for the new year. I'm so excited. The biggest news for the new year, of course, if you all have not received your catalog yet for the new, uh, for the spring, it's the little mini one. Um, let me see. I have a picture. of. I mean, I have a, oh, what did I do with my catalog? I think it's still in the living room. I was sitting on the couch looking at it anyways. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, and of course, with the new catalog, January and February, we do what's called sale abrasion. So excited about that. Um, you Every time you spend $50 for, or for every $50 you spend, you choose a, an item for free out of the little brochure. And the very first one are the cutest little adorable owls. And I think those are going to sell out pretty fast. And the other thing about celebration, it's first come, first serve. So they only ordered so many of them. And when they're out, they're out. So um, if you have your eyes set on anything in that celebration brochure, be sure to put an order in right away. It doesn't start until the 5th of January, though. So you still have um, about 10 days uh, before you can even order from there. So don't worry. Not yet. <laughs> We got to recover from Christmas first, don't we? Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Hello, Margaret and Joyce and Sherry um, and Karen and Janet. Hello, you guys, y'all. Oh, it's so good to have you all back. All right, one more thing before we get started, and that is along with the new catalog, I have a paper share. Now, what is a paper share? A paper share is where you get to have um, a little bit of all the paper in the new catalog without having to buy it all yourself. So what you do is you, um, I sent out an email yesterday and um, I'll be sending out a couple more before the time's up. You have until the 5th of January. Well, actually the 4th of January is the last day to, um, to sign up for this. And you sign up for the paper share, you send me your payment. Um, you can either choose half a pack of all the packs or a quarter of all the packs. And then I order all the paper that I need. I cut it all up. I repackage it and I ship it out to you. So um, it's 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 pretty easy to understand when you read the email. Um, don't forget to include shipping, though, because I do have locals who don't add shipping because they just come to my house and pick it up. So those of you who need me to ship it to you, you have to add the shipping on. OK, um, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Yes, Susan, we are finally getting our warmer weather back. It was a whopping 56 degrees here in Texas today. <laughs> We're always kind of worried down here in the South when it gets that cold because um, a lot of our pipes are on the outside of our house. So they have, uh, they tend to freeze easily. Um, so we, you know, but free, frozen pipes can happen anywhere in the country, but a lot of people were having problems with frozen pipes. We did not have any ice. So that was great. No, uh, no, no ice uh, accumulation on the streets. That's the worst here in Texas when you get the ice on top of the freezing weather, but it was just cold air this time. So we all just stayed bundled in our homes and, um, and now it's starting to warm up again. So, um, Oh, Joy, I'm sorry to hear that, that you got hacked and you're getting a new phone. Oh, that is no fun. You've got to keep those passwords up to date. And, um, and really strong passwords. You don't want to put anything like your grandchild's name and the year they were born. That would be not a good password because <laughs> someone can hack that really easy. All right. Um, the last Monday of every month, I always like to do the paper pumpkin with you all. Go through it um, and uh, do a tutorial of how to put it together. Um, the Stampin' Up! is a video that is in fast forward motion with music in the background and it's kind of hard to follow along. So I like to go ahead and do 
do the paper pumpkin with you. Now, next month, the one that's, so the kit that I'm putting together now is no longer available unless they have extras in the shop. Okay. And so you can go to my shop and go down to where it says kits. And then under kits, there's paper pumpkin. And in the paper pumpkin section, if they have any leftover, they'll have them for sale in the shop. But a lot of times they don't. Um, you have to uh, get them while they're available. And they're only available until the 10th of every month. So from the 11th of December to the 10th of January, key to my heart cards, um, you are getting, it says, get everything you need to make unique cards full of love. Send that special someone something special and from the heart. Plus, you can purchase additional heart-shaped treat boxes if you so desire to send sweet treats or even a sweeter note to those you love. So don't miss out. Looks really cute with little lock and key, kind of like France. Um, I don't know if you all are familiar in Paris. They have the big uh, fence, uh, chain link fence with all the padlocks on it. Really cool. All right. And um, so we are we're doing this. Oh, Oh, I forgot about that. Did I order that? Oh, they had um, add on card bases to do with these. Okay. So this, um, these you can get in the shop still. They still have them. They're regular. Um, it says get cut a basic grade card base. Um, oh, no, they're showing you how to make that. But they have the card bases that you can purchase. I, I'm not sure where they are, though. Anyways, I got off track. Sorry. We'll we'll deal with that later. Let's just learn how to put this together. All right. Um, Cheryl says, a paper share sounds like a fun thing to do, but how do I figure out how much the shipping is going to cost? Well, Cheryl, it is already um, labeled there for you. When you click, um, let's say you order the quarter pack. So the quarter pack is $40. And then there is a shipping button of $9. So it'd be $49 if I had to have a ship to you. Okay. And then the half pack option is $80 at, with a $9 shipping. Okay. And so on the email, it gives you the pay buttons for you to send your payment in. Okay. All right. Um, and if you did not get the email yesterday, let me know and I can send you um, the information. Uh like I said, I'll be sending out three emails. So I've sent out one yesterday. I'll send another email email out in a couple of days for those who missed it. And then um, one on the day before it's all over with. All right. So, okay. So this is this paper pumpkin. It's these really cute little gift card boxes. And once again, let me explain how the directions um, work. This is all picture instructions. There's no written instructions. Um, that way they can just produce the one pamphlet uh, without having it in all the different languages. All right. And uh, so kit number, so box number one is the green with the blue uh, belly band. Kit number two is the Calypso coral with the striped belly band. Uh, Box number three is gray with, it looks like maybe mint or soft sea foam. I'm not sure. And then the last one is a green box with a yellow belly band. And then it tells you what stamps to, you'll need and what elements you'll need from the kit. So we're going to start. I'm going to put this off to the side um, so I can see it, but get out the pieces we need. So here are the boxes and we need one of each. So I'm just going to put this to the side. I need a blue box. Okay. Oh. oh, oh, they're blue or gray. Okay. They have gray in the, uh, so you can choose. Oh my gosh. That, well, that is way cool. Okay. So what's on the other side of this one? Okay. So that one can either be pink or green. I like it. I like it. Okay. Then we've got kind of a, uh, Tahitian tide with the Calypso coral. And then we've got, this beautiful uh, crushed curry with the green. So you can, you have eight different boxes you can make. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I love it. All right, so I'm gonna put those down there. Then we've got the belly bands. So the blue belly band goes with the green box and the soft sea foam or mint, I'm not sure which that is, goes with the gray. And then the yellow one goes with the green and the balmy blue goes, whoa. Oh my gosh, even the backs are different. Okay, so I need to find the straw. Oh, here it is. It's on the back of this um, confetti one. All right, so these are the ones that they have examples, but you can do, oh my gosh, you can mix and match. 
This is such a fun kit. Oh my gosh, you guys. And they have um, green polka dots and gray polka dots. Oh my gosh, how fun. I love it. All right. This one we are going to, let me get them back in order. All right. So number one is going to be a graduation. You did it. Now, every, um, what I'm trying to say, every paper pumpkin comes with everything you need, except the first one is the only one that comes with the block. So when you get your first paper pumpkin, here's your block. Um, now, this is a size D block, and sometimes the stamps are so little, like um, this little word happy is so little on this big block. So if you've got some of the littler blocks that you've purchased from the catalog, um, get those out. That helps. Okay, so we're going to put that here, and we need you did it and congrats. So I'm just going to pull that off. You did it. Put that on there. And congrats. I don't see congrats. Is that this one? Yeah, this is congrats. Okay. All right. So I've got, you did it and congrats go with this one. And that's all I'm going to do for that right now. Um, we need the twine. It comes with a thing of twine. It comes with um, the ink spot and the ink spot is garden green. And of course, if you've got the large garden green or if you've got other colors that would coordinate, you could do that. That would be fun. Now in the box, you've also got your dimensionals. So, and your tear tape. So they give you all the adhesive you need. Um, this one calls for a circle. Okay. And it looks like a bread tie. If <laughs> didn't know any better. Let me look through here and see what I've got. I've got, those are all circles. Okay. And these are all rectangles. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, look how sweet these are. We have cupcakes and, oh, I did see on this one, we need the little graduation hat. So I need that. Um, and then it's got like some labels here. I'm not sure. It didn't look like you need one for this card. I'm not sure what these are for. Maybe something. Oh, there they are. Don't those look like little bread tags to you? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay. <laughs> There's the little bread tag. Okay. And what else do I need? All right. Um, dimensionals, twine, tear tape, the hat. You did it. Congrats an acrylic block, the ink spot, the circle, the bread tie, the belly band. So that's all you need. All right, let me put all this back in the box so I don't lose it. Okay, and I'm going to move these over. I'm going to do these in a minute while I get this one out. Okay, all right, now that I have everything here, now I'm going to show you the rest of the instructions. So once, once you have all the pieces, then you find that number one on... Phew, um, the page here. All right, so here it is. This is the one we're doing right here. And they, they're stamping, congrats, you did it on the circle. Okay, so both of the stamps go on the circle. The little um, hat is going to go on the bread tie. And the twine is going to, it looks like you tie the twine around the box and you put the bread tie on there too. All right, let's get this together. Fold that down so you can see it. So first things first, let's get... Um, another thing is when you're working with photopolymer, you want a foam mat. Oh, heavens to Betsy, where's my foam mats? Okay, I'm sure it's right in front of me, but you know how it is when I'm trying to work. I can't find anything. Here we go. All right, and I've got you did it, and I've got my stamp spot here. I need to cut it open. How are we doing, you guys? Let's see, we got Donnie from Southwest Louisiana. And we've got Mallory. Hello, girl. And Joy again. She can't wait to start making these. Yeah, these are so fun. I love paper pumpkin. They're so... They just put everything in you need. It makes it so easy. Okay. I mean, all right, there we go. I'm just going to cut that. I don't like it when my lid stays. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. 
So you did it. Oh, and I need congrats. So I'm sure I need to put congrats down first so I know where you did it goes. All right, there's congrats. Very nice. <sighs> you did it. Perfect. Oh, didn't get enough ink on that T, but that's okay. It still looks good. Yay. All right, so we got that done. Put that back on there. And now, all right, let's get our box out. Let's figure out how to fold this crazy contraption. Okay, I'm going to zoom in for you guys to see the instructions. So let me instructions here. Let me zoom way in. Okay, here we go, right here. All right, and then I'm going to put my box just the way they have it. You can't see my whole box, though. And it says we're going to lift this up. Okay. And then we're going to lift these up. Okay. Then we're going to lift this up. All right. Okay. That made about as much sense as nothing. <laughs> I don't understand. I will figure this out. Okay. I want my green box to be showing though. So hmm. this is why. I try to show you guys what to do. Okay. So. I, I'm pretty sure this is the top of the box here. I'm pretty darn sure. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this is. The so oh, 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 oh. Hey, have you ever had a banker's box? Yeah, I bet that's what this is. Just like a banker's box. So these two tabs go in. Okay, this folds up and these two tabs are going to tuck inside there. Oh my gosh, this is, I need three hands to do this. I can do this, come on. I can do this, I can do this. Ah, and then that little tab flicks right inside there like that. Whoops, can't see, there you go, so. I figured it out. Yay. All right. So let me get all this bent in correctly. All right. One more time. So we're going to put these two tabs in. Okay. We don't want the top in the way. And then we take this here and we wrap it around those two tabs and we tuck that little tab in that little slit. Okay. Now I can zoom back out. There we go. All right, I will put the other ones together. Wow, that was kind of crazy. Okay, now this just goes in there like that. Awesome. Okay, it definitely needs a belly band. It won't stay shut. Okay, the belly band is this blue one. Now let's see what they say to do with this. This one, um, okay, definitely going to fold on the score marks. I'm so glad everything's scored already. Oh, thanks for the fingernail comment. Yes, you can't go to Disney without Disney nails. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, for y'all who haven't seen my little Disney nails. And my big toe is done like the red polka dot one also. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time. Oh my gosh. All right. So it looks like this is going to go like this. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to put my tear and tape on here, but I want to make sure I don't put it on so tight that I can't slide the belly band off. Okay. That is the trick. Right, so let me pull out my tear tape and, Ooh, that is really thin tear tape. I'm used to it being a quarter inch thick. This is just an eighth of an inch thick. All right. There we go. Okay. And then you just tear that off like that. Oh, it is sticky tape. All right. And I'll put this back around here like this. Okay. I haven't taken the back off yet. Okay. And like I said, I don't want it too tight. I just need it tight enough. And come on. There it goes. But I do want it lined up. There we go. Okay, we got it on there. Awesome. So 
So now that should come off. Yes, it does. Very nice. Okay. So back in there. Yay. Cool, huh? All right, next step. Um, we need our little, like I said, it looks like a bread, bread tag. <laughs> and we need a dimensional for this. <laughs> Ooh, that just fits on there. And they kind of just have it straight on there. Nothing fancy. Okay, there we go. There's that. And... All right, it says to cut 18 inches of the twine. They even tell you how much twine to cut. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Rosemary says she is watching from OC, California. Well, hello. And Carmeline or Carmelina, Carmelina, is that right? Uh, is watching from Australia. So, what time is it in Australia? It's 7 30 p.m. here in Texas. Oh, come on. It's not wanting to cooperate. There we go. And we're just going to put this on here. And I think what we're going to do is that bread tag should just hook on there, I'm hoping. All right. And if you need a third finger, so get some clamping tweezers. I love ours. We sell ours in our um, embossing kit. Okay. That is difficult, though, because... It's lifted off the page there. Hold on. Let me get some blocks to hold it up. There we go. <laughs> Yay. Okay. There we go. And now, oh, it is 12.46 p.m. there. Wow. All right. So middle of the afternoon, but but you're on the next day. I do know that, that you are already on to um, Tuesday. We're still back here on Monday. I just think it's so cool that I talk to somebody in the future. <laughs> okay. I moved my bow over so that I can put my, um, congrats, you did it. And I'm just going to put dimensionals here so that the twine isn't in the way. I don't think it really matters. Um, the twine could hold it, I guess, but yeah, cause the twine, you want to be able to untie it. Cause right now you can't slide the belly band off. The twine is holding it in place. So yeah, be careful of that. You want your recipient to be able to open it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. You know, I didn't look to make sure I did this correctly. Oof. No, I didn't. Ah. Be sure you're putting your dimensionals in the correct spot. I did not. My congrats you did it is going to go sideways. But actually, that's that's okay. It looks kind of cool that way. All right. Kind of twisted like that. Puff this. So cute. And now it looks like they just kind of hooked that on there. Yeah. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so we've made our first little box. And like I said, you could make it yellow and turn this. I mean, you can make it either way. There's all kinds of combinations of the colors you can do. All right, let's look at box number two. This is the one with the good things come in small packages with the little cupcake and another cute little bread tie. All right, so let's pull that one out. So fun. So how is all of y'all's Christmas? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it came and went so fast. Actually, we haven't even had Christmas yet. All of our grandchildren are sick, so we have not made our Christmas cookies yet. We have not opened our gifts yet. Hopefully, they can come over either Wednesday or Thursday, and we can do Christmas with Nana and Pops. Um, yeah, it's just been a, a bad season for sickness. Matter of fact, one of my girlfriends on my trip, she got sick coming home. So we just put her in the back seat and got her some Mucinex decongestant and put her back there and said, you sleep, we'll drive. <laughs> That's what we did. But um, I haven't really shown any signs of getting anything. So whatever she had, I don't think was contagious, but you know. Who knows? I've only been home a couple of days now. All right. Did y'all see how fast I made that? Once you know how to do it, it's really easy. Okay. I know I put together fast. I'll do the next one slower for you. 
Sorry about that. Um, but basically, you just put the two tabs inside and wrap this edge around it. All right. And now we close that up and we take our belly band and we just bend it on the score marks. And we get some tear tape. There we go. You know what? I think I'm still zoomed in too much. There we go. Now you can, now I'm not out of the camera anymore. Okay. There we go. Take that off. And then just wrap this around. And like I said, not too tight. Whoops. Well, it'd be helpful if I put the right piece down. Okay. Not too tight, but not so loose that you know, there's that fine line between too tight and too loose. <laughs> and then, uh, well, just it's kind of tight. Wow. Come on. See, it has this little tab back here. So you have to be careful. If it gets caught on that, it won't come off. All right. So there you go. Like that. Okay. And this could be, let's see, on mine, I did, where's the blue one we just put together? Okay. On this one. I put the wrap on the back. That makes more sense. So let me take this off of here and turn it around. There we go. Okay. Love it. Now, the next part of the instructions say to stamp happy, happy, happy birthday on the little bread tie and good things come to those in small packages. So hold on. I need my stamp cleaner. There it is. <clears throat> and clean off these stamps and put them away. And the other cool thing about owning Paper Pumpkin is you get all these really neat stamp sets. I mean, this stamp set has some great sayings on it. Um, okay, and then the happy, happy birthday. I'm going to get my little tiny blocks out for that. Well, it's close enough. Here's happy. And here's birthday. Okay. Put all the blocks away. Oh, way too many blocks out. Okay. And then I need to find the cupcake. All right. Here's my cupcake. And um, this rectangle piece. And what's a bread tie? It's <laughs> all I can. I mean, they just look exactly like bread ties. It's so funny. And okay, double. Ch oh, and twine cupcake. All right, I got it now. Um, good things come to those who who. Uh, good things come in small packages. Sorry, and that is going to go on this side because the cupcake is going to go on that side. So let me get my ink out. Whoops, string there. <sighs> Starting to beat up on me. You know, I um I used my rubber eraser to like rub off the oh the residue from the uh, manufacturing plant. But actually, I found if you will go ahead and wash them with soap and water first, then you for sure get it off. Because sometimes it doesn't get off. I mean, if you look, my good kind of splotty, but it, it actually, it's a stamp. So it's nice. I mean, it looks like a stamp. So that's another thing I, I like to say is it doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, it's a handmade, handmade stamp. All right. Now this one is happy, happy birthday. I'm going to put birthday at the bottom so that I get it right. Give myself enough room. Okay. And then the happy, they have one kind of right above it and then one tilted. So they have one here and then they have one tilted here. Okay. So happy, happy birthday. Oh, and you can't see that to save your life. We, there we go. Happy, happy birthday. There we go. That's good. And then here's this one. And then we need a dimensional for our cupcake.
Yes, and I was asking how everyone's Christmas was. Oh my gosh, Rosemary lives 15 minutes from Disneyland. Now, land is over in California. I was in Disney World in Florida. I know you have to be you have to uh, be specific these days. Um, oh, thanks, Kay. Yeah, they are. They're getting much better. Um, we just, I tell you what, everybody's sick. It's just that time of year. Margaret says she's been sick with bronchitis and sinus infection. Oh, honey, I hope you get to feeling better soon. That's no fun. Um, yeah, I'm telling you what, sicknesses are no fun. Okay, I've got all this together. I need my twine, and it says I need 18 inches again. So just hold that. There we go. My snips. I know they're right in front of me. There they are. Let me get this ink covered so I don't make a mistake. And we're just going to put that on there just like this. And this is done just like the other one. You just tie it in a bow and uh, and then put the two things on it. Okay. And so I'm going to use my clamping tweezers again to hold that for me. And I'm going to use my block to hold my clamping tweezers up. There we go. All right. So we've got two boxes done. Well, almost. i got to put the tags on. These are so cute. I love it. And you don't have to put gift cards in these. Oh my gosh. There's so many cute things you could put in this. Um, jewelry, uh, little snacks. Um, gosh, all kinds of things. Yeah. It's just a perfect size little box. All right. Like I said, the only thing is these little tabs back here kind of cause problems, but other than that, that looks great. All right. So I'm going to move this tie over a little bit more so I can put this here on this side. Now this is going to extend over the belly band. Okay. But don't tack it down to the box. Make sure that your uh, dimensional stay on the belly band because you want to be able to move that so they can open the, bo open the box. All right. So I have that and that that and that. There we go. And here we go. And then this just hooks on like the other one did. Yeah. Kind of. There we go. I'm trying to get it so it's up. Okay. There. <laughs> Love that. That is so fun. Oh my gosh. These are the cutest little boxes. All right. I'm going to do this next one slow. So you see how to make this box again. Maybe after four of them, it'll make sense to you. I know that first one was kind of difficult. All right. This is the one with the gray and the mint belly band. So let me grab those. Okay. Now, let's put this box together. Make sure I'm in the camera so you can see. We're having the gray um, on the outside, so I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to cut this in and then push this in. Okay. I'm going to lift this tab and this tab. All right. Um, I'm also going to fold this up and fold this up. Go ahead and fold on that line too. Fold here, fold here, fold these two tabs in. All right, now once I've gotten all of my um, score lines done, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two tabs, we're going to tuck them down inside, and we're going to wrap this piece around it, and then take that and just tuck it into that little slit right there, and it'll hold those two tabs in place. So like I said, fold the two tabs in and then wrap this around and then tuck that little tab into that slit there. And that's all there is to it. And the rest of it, you just fold these um, pieces in so it stays inside the box, just like that. Okay. And then the belly band will keep it closed. Okay. And the belly band is already scored for you. So just um, do that and that and that. And then you want a piece of tear tape. Whoops, tear tape is stuck to my block. <laughs> All right, whoops, come here. Whew. That is, 
Okay, and let me just tear it off like that. It's pretty cool. I love tear tape. And then you need some kind of, if you have fake nails, you'll need something to help lift off the backing. There we go. Okay, now take your box and wrap it around, being sure not to make it too tight, but don't make it too uh, loose either. Loose enough. Okay, there we go. And then if you have trouble getting it over these notches, maybe you can bend them or something. I'm not sure. You don't want to trim them off or it'll come undone. But I also forgot I want this uh, flap here on the bottom. So let me turn that around. There we go. Okay. And this one has the rectangle and the bread band. So let me get the rectangle and the bread band, the bread tag. Um, and it has two leaves and a flower. So here are two leaves. Oh, I love these leaves. Oh my gosh, how fun. And it's laser cut, so they just pop out so easy. I love it. It's such a, it's good. And then this cute little flower. There we go. And we want congrats, cheers to forever, happy for you. So this would be like a wedding gift. Um, let's put that there. And I need to switch out my stamps. So get my stamp cleaner. There we go. And got birthday. Okay, now happy, they had happy for you on here. So I'm leaving the happy and I need the for you. Here we go. And then I need... Cheers and love forever. Oh, and the congrats. Okay, so cheers and love forever. And I've already used that congrats once. Here we go again. Just put the congrats right there. All right. And let's get our tags out and do our stamping. So our first stamp is congrats, cheers forever. Or, okay, where's my ink? There it is. Cheers to forever. Sorry, not cheers forever. Cheers to forever. All right. And this is done further over to the right because we're going to put that flower and those leaves on the other side. Sometimes it helps to take the ink pad and put it on the stamp instead of the amp stamp on the ink pad. There we go. Perfect. And then on here, this is happy for you. All right, happy. And they put that one on straight and then they put the for you kind of tilted. All right, there we go. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. They just come up with the neatest ideas, don't y'all think? <laughs> Susan says, my husband and I had to cut our beach vacation to three days instead of nine. We got home Tuesday, went to the doctor on Wednesday, found out we both had the flu. Oh, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. The flu, yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a year for sickness. Ugh. Okay. Now this one is a little more complicated on putting the, the tag together. It's not too complicated, but they put the leaves on the back of this. Okay. So they have a leaf here and a leaf here. And then they put tear tape over it to adhere it to something. I'm not sure. All right. We'll figure it out in a sec. So let's uh, flip this over so we know what we're doing here. Okay. And Oh, I know what it is. Because they only gave you tear tape and dimensionals, they're using the tear tape to stick these down. But you don't have to use tear tape. You can use a tape runner if you have one. So get out your trusty tape runner and do that. There we go. That makes much more sense. Okay, how is this? This one kind of comes out to the side here. And this one kind of comes out like at an angle there. All right, now, yeah, there we go. 
Next is the little flower does get put on dimensionals up here. So where are my dimensionals? There we go. And that just sticks right there. Very nice. All right. So we have that on there. Now, oh, this tie goes different. This tie is going to go the other way. So this way instead of the other way. And you only need 14 inches for this one. Okay, so this one you don't even need to take the the twine off to open the box. This one, the belly band is just going to be able to slide off without untying the tie. So that's cool. All right, make sure I'm even here. There we go. And like I said, I need a block to hold my, hold that up. Okay, what am I doing here? Oops, came undone. There we go. I need to move myself this way. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we're going to take that one and that one. There we go. Oh my gosh, so fun. Okay, now once you have this string tied on here, you can adjust it and move it to where you need it. But just get it on there first. And the box... Let's see, which way does this box open? Yeah, this box is opening this way. So I'm going to bring the twine over this way. Okay, and you know what else? They put the tag underneath the twine. So they did it like that. Um, all right, and they just put tear tape on this to hold it down. But I'm just going to use my tape runner because it's faster. Okay, and it kind of sticks out over the edge a little bit. Okay, like that. There we go, kind of center it again. Come on. <laughs> it's not wanting to move. I know it will. It's just my fingers are slick on the, the paper. It's just sliding on the paper. That's all right. That looks good. Okay, got that done. We have the bow there. We've created our little bread tie thing. And all you do is just hook it up there. So bring your bow down and hook your bread tie on there. Oh my gosh, I love these bread ties. These are so cute. Come on, get in there. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, these are so cute. All right, one more to go. One more to go. Um, this one is the special delivery for a baby. How many grandmas are, I've got new, uh-oh, my computer is running, my battery's running low on my computer. Yikes, I need to, how much battery do I have left? I am crucial, I'm down to 5%. Hold on, you guys, I've got to go plug my computer in before I lose you. Hold on, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, sorry, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, I got a big old computer here. I mean, a battery here. Oh gosh. I thought I had plenty of battery life. I was sitting on my couch with my computer and I just brought it here into my craft room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saved the day. Wee. Now let's get this big monstrosity out of my way so I can work. Oh. <laughs> Katie's having a new granddaughter in January. Yay, Katie. Well, you'll have to share lots of pictures with us. Love new grandbabies. All right. This is our last box that I'm going to put together with you guys. There are tons of boxes in this kit. And remember, you can do either side. They're both colored. Even the tags have two different colors. So like that would be really pretty. This, this is what we're doing. All right. So the first thing is, remember, you want to... Fold it on all the score lines. Just fold and fold and fold. There we go. That one and that one. Now that I've got it all folded, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck these two tags in, tabs in like that. And you're going to wrap this part 
around those two tabs. So you kind of have to hold it all together. And then that little tab slips into the slit so it holds it in place. Okay, these are like banker boxes. If you ever put banker boxes together, and that just stays right like that. And that's all there is to it. And then the top, of course, it'd probably be helpful if you had folded the top before you put it together, but that's okay. And there we go. Okay, so now we have that box together. And then we need our belly band. And once again, you just fold it on the score lines and use your tear and tape. And now that I've gotten lazy, I'm using my tape runner. <laughs> Okay, and um, I'm going to turn it upside down this time so that I don't have to take it off and redo it this time because I keep want keep having to redo it because my seam is on the top and I want the seam on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so now we have that box together. Last thing, we need two stars and the circle. So let me get... I need a small and a large star. All right. It's a large one and a small one. Okay. And I need the circle base. And so they all have the bread tie. I love it. And the circle. Come on. There we go. And um, we need special delivery. Let's clean up our stamps so I can put new stamps on here. Where's my stamp cleaner? Here it is. And congrats. Now, don't forget, I have a paper share. Um, if you did not get your email, uh, send me a message and I will send you the information. Another email will be coming out in a few days, plus uh, actually two more emails will come out just for those people who, you know, you can't quite decide if you want to do it. And then at the last minute you go, oh, I still want to do it. So I'll send you a reminder on the last day. And um, don't want you to miss out on this. This is one of my most popular things I do. Um, it's really a service to you guys because a lot of people love all the paper in the catalog, but they can't afford to buy every single packet. Um, and plus, you'd have so much paper left over before the next catalog comes out because you can't, I mean, unless you're making a lot of cards all the time, um, that's just a lot of paper. So, um, what I do is I cut it up for you and you only have to, you only have to buy a quarter pack of each pack or a half a pack of each pack. You decide and then, um, send me the payment and then I will cut up the paper accordingly and repackage it all up for you and send it to you. Um, and it's called a paper share. So basically you're sharing the paper with other people <laughs> and, uh, that way you don't have to buy all of it. You can just have a little bit, but you can have all of it but just a little bit of all of it. And it works out really great that way. Okay, I need the special delivery stamp. Here we go. And I need the, oh baby. Oh, I also need um, one I haven't used yet. And that is this skinny rectangle here. Okay, this strip is on here also. Okay, and that is the stamp for your special delivery. And I'm going to need a bigger block for that, I think. There we go. And oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a cute little stamp. Okay. All right. Now let's get all of our paper on our foam pad. And it, the foam pad just makes it have a cleaner image when it stamps because it's it's such a hard surface. And then when you stamp on a hard surface, sometimes it doesn't get even. And so that's why I like having a foam pad there, but it's not necessary. It just, it just helps. All right. Let me open my ink again. Come on ink. Okay. Special delivery. And that just kind of goes right kind of to the top because you're going to put this piece across it like that. Okay, and then this piece, I see it's easier to do it this way when it's long and skinny like that. Special delivery for your special delivery. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so clever. Perfect. And then last but not least, the Oh Baby. Okay. 
Ooh, got a lot of ink on that. Hold on. There we go. Woo, baby. And they kind of have this, they just have that straight on there. Okay. No twisting. All right. And now we just put it together. This one also has the string tying it um, this way. So you only need the 14 inches. Okay. And here we go. And the, all right, before we put the string on, they want you to put the special delivery on here. All right, so let me put that on there. Okay, and that's done straight and it's right on the edge there, but not quite. So it's a little bit over the side because the tag, the, this bread tag is gonna go here. But this piece right here, where did it go? There it is, is gonna go across it like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, this one, I am going to need the tear tape because my tape runner is too thick for that. So there we go. And come on, come on. Perfect. All right. Special delivery for your special delivery. And the little stars, of course, are popped up on dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals? There they are. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest little set. Ooh, this one is barely going to fit on that one. Whew, I think I probably should have cut that one in half, but that's okay. I'm just going to put that star there and this star up here there we go and now we tie the twine on and the oh baby bread tab <laughs> i just i oh, love that bread tab that's so clever okay all right and let me use my tweezers mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And of course I'm this way because I can only tie bows in a certain direction. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've just always learned how to do it one way. Here we go. Oh, my little fingernails are not getting that bow. Darn it. All right, start over. One more time. Go down this time so I can see where I'm going. There we go. And then pop that out and tighten it up. Okay, and pull the ends. So what do you guys think about this paper pumpkin? Wasn't this so cute? Oh my gosh. And then this little bread tie just goes right on there like that. Oh. <laughs> all right, let me show you all of them. So like I said, you can do these in any different kind of ways because you can do front backs, all different colors. Um, you can even use your own stamp set. So if these sayings aren't anything you need, you want something else, um, you know, it, this big enough, these, these uh, labels are big enough for almost any stamp set. Just so cute. And I just love the little um, punch outs. Just so fun. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, I try to do our, um, paper pumpkin on the last Monday of every month. So I'll be putting the January paper pumpkin together on the last Monday in January, hopefully. I mean, it always depends on what the calendar pops up on the calendar, but I'm pretty sure the last Monday in January is okay. It's not like a holiday or anything. All right. You guys are awesome. And um, I cannot wait to share with you my challenge for Wednesday. So be sure to show up Wednesday morning, 9.30 a.m. for the card challenge. If you have not put in a card for this month's card challenge, be sure to do that. Or this week's card challenge. It was a two-week because I was gone to Disney and then there was Christmas. So um, I haven't been with you guys for two, two weeks. Wow. Can't believe that. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> I always forget to look for questions. Sorry. I always say goodbye and everybody turns off and then I'm like, oops, I forgot to look for questions. Nope, no questions. Okay, bye you guys. <laughs>